Hi, I'm Mitch Maddock. I'm a principal software developer and Java team lead here at Rural Sourcing in the Oklahoma City Development Center. We started splitting stuff up into much smaller services, that's hence the name, as opposed to kind of fat soap style services where you basically just take an application maybe change it to a few, few soap services. Instead we have many, many versions of services which is great, you split them all up, but now you have the potential for many more versioning problems because you don't have five services, you have 50. When we break up these monolithic applications, this has been done historically, it's kind of what we're still going through, right? Microsoft Word is being split up into Office 365 and all these different services. People usually don't tend to think about the versioning problems ahead of time. And if you build that into the architecture of the application or the service, then it's much easier and you end up with much cleaner code. The biggest thing more than anything else is to just accept the fact that if you have a data-driven application, which most applications are, data in, data out, you're going to have versioning issues. And to think, put that in the design to begin with, at least be thinking about, here's how we're gonna deal with when we need to update this and maybe not everybody's ready to update. Putting it in the design to begin with is the key. Very low cost the testing simple, the, the flow of the application is gonna be the same because that versioning is already baked in there. There's just lots of spots where it does that. It's gonna save a lot of money and a lot of time in the long run, uh, I think, because there comes a point down the road where someone says they're ready to upgrade, someone else isn't ready to upgrade, and then it becomes a big technical problem. And just avoid those headaches up front.